This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollamore. The New York Times is reporting that Donald Trump is floating the idea of several pardons for accused or convicted war criminals in celebration of Memorial Day. You know, the holiday that exists to honor military service members who were killed in service to their country. Never one to shy away from making it clear just how despicable he is, Donald Trump is ready to deliver multiple pardons, not based on injustice experienced in the legal system, but as a political signal to the uninitiated that yes, he supports illegal violence against civilians, especially if they're brown and especially if they're Muslim. Also, he is continuing his full frontal assault on the culture of service and respect for rules, regulations, and laws set for military members in forward areas. First, let's talk about a few of the cases he's looking at for pardon. First, Navy SEAL Chief Eddie Gallagher. He's accused of using his sniper's firing position to shoot unarmed civilians, including a young schoolgirl wearing a flower print hijab walking with her friends, and an unarmed and defenseless elderly man who posed no threat, among others. Also, he allegedly murdered a 15-year-old ISIS fighter who had been taken into custody by Gallagher's platoon. He was a prisoner and was being actively treated for a wound to his leg when Gallagher ran up and stabbed him repeatedly with his hunting knife until he died. And look, he's being accused of these horrific war crimes, not by bleeding heart liberal elites, but by many members of his own platoon of war-hardened Navy SEALs. And the military found the accusations so egregious and his actions so abhorrent that it swiftly went forward with a vigorous prosecution. Am I making some defense of this murdered ISIS fighter here? No. But we expect more from our military members than this. We often hold our servicemen and women in high esteem because we expect a lot from them. Donning the uniform doesn't absolve you of war crimes, and these are war crimes. Also, it appears as though Donald Trump is considering pardons for a former Blackwater security mercenary who shot dozens of unarmed Iraqis in 2007, for which he was subsequently found guilty of first degree murder. Also, for Major Matthew Goldstein, the Army Green Beret who admitted to killing an unarmed Afghan in 2010, an admission that caused the Army to strip him of his Silver Star and his Elite Special Forces tab. This really should come as no surprise to anyone who knows anything about Donald Trump. The same man who knows nothing of the culture and the traditions of the military and only uses them as a punchline in exercise of the same masturbatory patriotism that we often see from him. Also, what do you expect from a dipshit who gets all his policy fodder from the buffoons over at Fox News' Fox and Friends? Listen how National Guard reservist and professional dirty hand haver Pete Hegseth talks about premeditated murder and sickening war crimes. Accused of war crimes. Pete, this is something you've been on. Yeah, first of all, I can't stand that headline, accused of war crimes. Uh, that this is, these, are, these are men who went into the most dangerous places on earth with a job to defend us and made tough calls on a moment's notice. Mm-hmm. They're not war criminals, they're warriors who, who have now been accused of certain things that are under review. Here's a couple of the potential pardons that could come from this president by Memorial Day. This is included in the article. Special Operations Chief uh, Eddie Gallagher, who we've talked about on this program, Major Matt Goldstein also. First of all, I can't stand that headline, accused of war crimes. These are men who went into the most dangerous places on earth and with a job to defend us and made tough calls on a moment's notice. They're not war criminals, he says. They're warriors who have now been accused of certain things. Listen, pathetic Pete Hegseth. I don't know what it's like in the National Guard because I only served for many years on active duty in the United States Marine Corps. I can assume that, like in the Marines, it's full of men and women warriors who do go into the most dangerous places on Earth and do make tough calls on a moment's notice. 
But you know as well as I do that there are bad people in the military, just as there are in the civilian world. And Gallagher and Goldstein are two of them. And they haven't been accused of certain things. They've been accused of many, many crimes, including, but not limited to, premeditated murder, attempted murder, obstruction of justice, and bringing discredit upon the United States Armed Forces. If Donald Trump and the rest of his never served a single second in the military advisors want to honor the military, they need to uphold the dignity of the sacred traditions of each branch and promote good order and discipline within the ranks. To choose of all days Memorial Day to pardon convicted and accused war criminals is a desecration of all that actually makes our military special.